Hello everyone in Cyberworld. Welcome back to another video. I'm Jennifer. And I'm Richard. And this is our channel we call Poor Man's DIY. A couple weeks ago, we made a video, if you can see the link above, for our garage light boxes. We had some extra materials, scrap wood, so we decided that we're gonna make this fabulous cutting board. Now these particular scraps that we used to make this cutting board were things that I would normally just throw away, but they happened to be solid enough and long enough and I thought, well, maybe we might be able to make something with this. It's nothing very spectacular, but it turned out really well. So let's show you how we're gonna do this. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and leave a comment. We're gonna start arranging our pieces and gluing them together. Next, we start to clamp the pieces together and let the glue dry. I added additional clamps to keep the board from bowing. I removed the excess glue now while it was still wet. We wanted to make a 15 inch cutting board, but it's too wide for our planer, so we made two 8 inch pieces instead. I squared up the sides of the 8 inch boards through the table saw so that I could glue them together and make a single large piece. And then we cut the board into a square. Because I wanted to make the cutting board as smooth as possible, I started from 40 grit and worked all the way up to 400 grit sandpaper. We applied the cutting board oil in the butcher block conditioner to prevent the drying and cracking of the cutting board. I applied a generous amount of oil on the wood, let it soak for 20 minutes, and then wiped off the excess, and repeated this four times until the oil no longer soaked in. Both the oil and the conditioner exceed US FDA regulations for direct and indirect contact with food. I'll leave a link to the products in the description below. I then applied the Butcher Block Conditioner, which provides another level of protection. As you can see, this really isn't a difficult uh, build to do, and we do realize that cutting boards are a dime a dozen on YouTube, but the scraps that we had was something that we would normally throw out, and this particular time we figured, well, 
let's give it a try and see if we can make a board of it and then uh, make a cutting board from that. And it worked out quite well and we think that uh, you too can make something like this very easily. Next week we're going to show you how to install some floodlights. But until then, bye bye. bye, -bye.